We just hiked into the middle of the woods for this abandoned gold mine. And for the next 24 hours, Aiden and I are gonna attempt to survive here. At one point, this mine produced around $10 million worth of gold. Now, it's a ghost town. Our first objective is to get inside and find a safe place to set up shelter. Let's-a go. What if somebody shuts the door while we're inside? It's like how they send the canaries into the coal mines to see if the oxygen's okay. Oh my god. You don't even have to duck in here. I'm barely getting through. Charlie's like eight. I'm, oh yeah. <laughs> Eight foot four? Yeah. Actually. Oh, I already got caught by something. Oh, shoot. Uh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, oh, oh. After a little bit of exploring, we stumbled across an area that could work for our shelter. So we strung up our hammock and gave it a good test. <laughs> it wasn't until after we set up our hammock that we realized that part of the mine was actually collapsing. So, wait, what's your on right now? Yeah. It looks like the roof collapsed. The rock definitely just falls away here. Um, <laughs> so. That makes it a little bit more scary to know that we're sleeping here. To take our minds off the collapsed roof, we decided to explore deeper into the cave. Three points of contact. That's good, that's good. Can we grab anything? Oh, oh I trust professional. it. Is it just me or does it seem like there's less oxygen? I'm, I'm getting a little short breath. Uh, now I'm gonna start thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> While exploring, we decided it was a good time for a snack break, so we fired up the camping stove and cooked up some mush. This actually is delicious. After finishing our meal, we got right back to exploring and realized we were starting to get a little lost. It's like, we go down this way, there's like three different diversions we can go underground. That way or that way, like, it's just so easy. <laughs> so easy to get lost. We decided to keep pushing forward though, and eventually we reached the water crossing. Now all we have to worry about is staying dry because it's getting very wet right here. Every single rock is moved. Oh, oh no. Wet socks? Wet socks. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Since Aiden's shoes were soaking wet, we figured it would be best to head back to camp for some fresh socks. And that's when we stumbled upon the first sign we weren't alone. Oh, Jesus. Wow. What? This is not how I thought we were going to go down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he could give us rabies, though. He could. Oh, no, don't put up here. Oh, my gosh, he roosted up there. He's right there. I'm blind. Right on the tip of the metal. The bat seemed to be friendly, so we set up some of our camera gear to get some photos when something a little out of the ordinary happened. Oh, oh wait, our no way I caught that. Wait. Huh. Okay, it just turned back on again. That was really weird. That, that, I don't think that's ghost stuff. No, I think just, the battery came loose. Techno oh. Okay, do it again. <laughs> that is, uh, that is just technology being weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Take the batteries out. I mean, it's just so weird. It said that the batteries were like full. Oh, okay, now it's okay. Let's see if it works. Maybe it was just the water. Ready? Three. Two. Come on, we're just gonna take it. Just do it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that's scary. Like a light going out should not be scary, but it is. Because it's not supposed to go out. With our main source of light glitching, we agreed it would be best to light up some of the candles and bring out the Ouija board. And what does this do for the ghosts? Ouija boards? No, the flare. Oh, I don't know, it just makes it spookier. <laughs> <laughs> During our research beforehand, we found a story of a killer named Charles Vincent who fled here and got mauled by a bear. While he was on his deathbed in the hospital, he confessed his crimes to the doctor with no sign of remorse. Neither Aiden or I believe in supernatural beings, so we went into this experience with an open mind. You know, I like the idea of making it spooky for them. It makes it feel more comfortable, you know? If you're gonna have guests, make the house presentable. Shall we? We shall. Right when I said that, the wind picked up. 
Do you feel that? I did too. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you can see that little orange. Yeah. Is this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's our exit route, so we know that. <laughs> that means the spirits are ready. Wait, the candles all blew out too. <laughs> are you kidding me? I think it was just from the window. <laughs> Oh my god, it's smoke! <laughs> okay. That one's struggling. Oh wait, they came back. Okay, we're good. Do you think like they're designed that way to trip us out? <laughs> Do you think it's like a special kind of candle? <laughs> I mean, I bought these candles at, at Walmart. Is there anybody here? <laughs> we just hold our hands. And we're not supposed to move our hands. No. If it wants no. to move, a spirit will move it. That's how this works. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> um, bonjour. <laughs> Hola. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. Is your name Charles? Did the wind pick up as soon as we started doing this? Yes. Did it die down? Yes. <laughs> Are we concerned about it? No. Are you with us? If that something's is. here, make yourself known. Yeah, that's good for you. If something's here and you're a little bit shy, please feel welcome. <laughs> like, there's nothing. If you believe in ghosts, that's your thing. Um, but if you're going to be spending the night in the scary cave, proving that there's no ghosts here, I think is really a good way to go. Ooh. After coming to the conclusion that there were no ghosts in the area, we brushed our teeth and settled into our hammock for the night. Yeah. We're getting ready for bed. The bat is still, I don't think it'll show it, but he's still up on that piece of metal. I like the stream because it's like a little white noise. So if there were footsteps or like if an animal was making a sound, like I wouldn't really hear it because it's drowned out by the water. So I sleep better. At least that's the plan until a bat flies into my face and bites me. Hopefully we survive the night. Eight hours later. Oh my God, it's so bright. <laughs> we just woke up. <laughs> I don't think we slept very, very much. <laughs> Not surprisingly, we barely slept at all. We cooked up some mush for breakfast. We did a little bit more exploring down a different path. Whoa, some old equipment, that's kind of cool. I don't know what that does. Once we hit the final hour of this challenge, we only had one objective in mind, leaving this place and never coming back. What a good night, what a good little I've got to say, this was a challenging video to make, but it was so much fun because I had Aiden by my side with me every step of the way. Life is so much more enjoyable when you have someone to share it with, so my challenge for all you guys watching is to get outside and spend time with someone you love, because that is one of the greatest things in life.